Hello friends, today we will understand the concept of transgenic mouse, knockout mouse and knock-in mouse. The first one is transgenic mouse. Transgenic mouse are genetically engineered mouse in which particularly foreign DNA is inserted which is taken from a different species. So in the diagram I'm not so much good in drawing. Uh, foreign DNA is inserted via the vector or a plasmids and then after transformed cells are selected uh, which contains a recombinant or a trans DNA. The second one is knockout mouse. In the knockout mouse uh, target gene is dysfunctioned and uh, via the insertion of trans gene. So if trans gene is inserted the basic function of uh, target gene is to totally disappeared so expression level of uh, target gene is getting stopped so in uh, knockout mouse dna contains a target gene which is uh, replaced via homologous recombination by the trans gene so uh, in the early stage embryo from the pregnant mouse is taken and the stage of embryo is two to three days so which is known as blastosis blastosis contain uh, outer tropoblast and inner cell mass layer so uh, <coughs> inner cell mass contain uh, embryonic stem cells right so this embryonic stem cells can uh, give rise to any of the cell type so at this stage transgene is inserted by a particular method and this is uh, liposome mediated transfection so then after uh, transformed cells are selected which contains a uh, transgene <coughs> molecule and if there is homologous recombination between uh, normal embryonic stem cells and uh, the inserted uh, transgene molecule then recombinant DNA will contain uh, transgene okay <coughs> then after this uh, recombinant cells are again introduced into the blastocyst stage of another mouse species so this uh, inner cell mass may again contain recombinant as well as non recombinant embryonic stem cells so it is a mixture of both so the progeny which is uh, produced from this blastosis will be a chimeras. So this chimeric mouse may again test crossed with uh, uh, another chimeric mouse and until we will get a pure strain of mouse which is purely homozygous for a, our targeted transgene. So actually this procedure seems very simple but if we generate trans uh, knockout mouse in lab scale then it's an hard work of three to four years and it is very costly <coughs> the third one is a knock-in mouse in knock-in mouse uh, particularly target dna may contain an antibiotic resistance gene which is uh, slightly disrupted by antibiotic resistance gene so the sequence of target DNA are selected in such a way that if antibiotic resistance gene is applied to this region uh, the expression of main DNA molecule is not getting so much disrupted so in this stage um, the best example is uh, for an example uh, mouse embryonic stem cells contain a 3 gene the first is target gene, the second one is neomycin resistance gene and the third one is TK gene that is stands for uh, thymidine kinase gene and this is taken from the herpes simplex virus and it is responsible for the gang cyclovic disease. So if target gene is <coughs> in the first case target gene is uh, disrupted in uh, with neomycin uh, antibiotic and here the TK gene is located outside the target gene region okay so if there is homologous recombination between our target embryonic stem cell and this uh, <coughs> recombinant embryonic stem cell 
then there are chances that all the transformed cells may contain a target DNA molecule with neomycin antibiotics. So all the transformed uh, cells will uh, grow in the presence of neomycin and they will the old cells will survive but in the second case if there is non-random uh, recombination non-homologous recombination uh, between these genes then there are chances that all three genes are present <coughs> in the embryonic uh, targeted embryonic stem cell so there are chances that uh, this uh, random insertion may lead to presence of thymidine kinase gene in our target embryonic stem cells and again the resultant embryonic stem cells with non-homologous recombination will die due to the gain cycloid disease because thymidine kinase gene is present in their target DNA. So I hope you will understand. Please like, subscribe and share and click the bell icon to get more and more videos like that thank you have a nice day